Hello everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Splat. Now, two days ago I did the last one. Again, apologies for not being so daily lately, but I am incredibly busy. Um, and I talked about the death of Osama bin Laden very briefly when I said, uh, I believe it was something along the lines of good riddance. Um, it was just a quick comment. It was more, <laughs> the video was more created out of um, actually just wanting to put out a video more than anything because I felt very bad for neglecting you all out there. Um, but now obviously it's been a couple of days and I feel as though I'm able to comment more on the story now that it's had some time to simmer down. So, Osama bin Laden is dead and he was killed, reportedly, by US operatives who were sent to Pakistan to deal with him after they received a tip-off that he was there. And so they have. Uh, and supposedly he was uh, shot in the head and the chest, and that was that. He was dead, the body has since been dumped out at sea. Now, a few people I know have had a couple of uh, sort of conspiratorial thoughts of mm, dumping the body at sea, eh? Hmm, coming straight after the royal wedding. Hmm, with Obama not doing very well in the polls. Hmm, appears to be what a lot of them have been, well, talking about. And it's fairly understandable. The timing is, in some respects, a little convenient for uh, the Obama administration. However, dealing with the facts as they are, you know, I'm, I'm not really concerned with the popularity of the Obama administration as yet. Maybe I'll comment on that later, maybe not. As I've said before, I tend to like to avoid politics, but this is a pretty important story. I mean, Osama bin Laden is arguably going to be remembered as one of the most important men in history, or in the history of the 21st century. You know, the first 10 years, arguably, when they look back in 100 years' time or 1,000 years' time, and if somehow this record has survived that long, Hello, the future. Did you ever get those um, hoverboards going? Anyway, um, he's going to be remembered as a very influential figure. Now, obviously, when I say he will be remembered as influential, I obviously don't mean in a positive sense in Western circles, and indeed in, in most um, memories. Obviously, he was a hero to some, even a godlike figure. But to most, he was wildly condemned for what was uh, basically a very, very, very inhumane act. Which is the reason that I said I good riddance to him. Because regardless of what you believe, I don't think it's justifiable to do what he did, essentially. You know, to organise what he did and to just cause so much havoc. It's just, in my opinion not on. But that's it, this is an opinion for debate and such. Anyway, um, so yes, he has passed on now. Uh, he has been removed. Whether or not he was still uh, a linchpin in the Al-Qaeda operation remains to be seen. No doubt he would be at least fondly remembered by the organisation. But yes, essentially, he has gone. And I think this is just going to have a big... This is, a, this is big news, you know, society has been shaped by him to an extent, you know. He, he was a man who brought the, you know, the United States at that time, the unrivaled world power, to its knees with a couple of planes and a group of, you know, men who hijacked them. So, he, regardless, he will be remembered as an important figure, you know, because without him we probably wouldn't be looking at a war in Afghanistan, because obviously the war in Afghanistan was to find him. We probably wouldn't be looking at a war in Iraq. I mean, it might have happened. Possibly. They would have arranged for it to happen somehow. But even so, the whole terrorism thing made it much, much easier to create such a scenario where an invasion of Iraq was fine <laughs> with a lot of people. Obviously, it wasn't fine with a lot of other people. There were some record-breaking protests and things of that nature. Anyway, point is, he was an, he was a very important dude, basically, um, and he has now gone. They are my thoughts on the subject. 
Uh, if you'd like to leave an opinion uh, on the page that this is on, please do. Uh, you can also contact me through Twitter. Just go to www.twitter.com and in the search bar just search for Splaticus. That's S-P-L-A-T-T-I-C-U-S. And let me know what you think, if you want. Okay. Yes, uh, just on video news relating to this, I will be trying to do more on a daily basis. However, I'm probably going to fail to do one tomorrow because, again, incredibly busy with work and film that I'm in at the moment so I'm being I am actually being filmed tomorrow but it's for something completely different and also there's uh, a play which I'm involved in which I may make a little video for uh, in the future so for those of you who are interested in the theatre um, yeah let me know <laughs> okay that is all for today thank you so very much for uh, watching and I'll speak to you all soon until then Bye.